from Woodsley Summercraft here. Today I have decided to make a bigger set of cold drawers for my PSI Barracuda Chuck. Now <clears throat> it came with a kit and in that kit there was a small uh, cold drawers, a uh, small set of cold drawers. But like I said they're very small, they'd be good for small dishes or maybe goblets but not much else. Um, I then went and purchased another set of cold drawers um, and they're only about seven and a half inches diameter. The travel on this is about an inch and a half so you uh, you can crunch down about an inch and a half from the smallest size so you have an inch and a half to play with. Um, so what I'm going to do, this is a piece of I guess it would be nylon it's fairly rigid it's about three-eighths of an inch thick. Um, I'm going to make a template, cut it on the bandsaw and uh, make a new set of cold jaws that should be approximately 10 inches. Okay, so this is showing you the set that the Barracuda truck came with. And as you can see, it's about four inches. You can get something in there about four or five inches at the most, not, not nothing bigger. Uh, this set, like I said, is about seven and a half inches. Um, and as you expand the jaws on the chuck, they will increase by a maximum of inch and a half. Um, so you're going to get something maybe seven, eight inches at the very most in, in these cold jaws. Um, now this is an old, or I should say it's a new chopping board that I just bought. It cost me six dollars. Um, and it's pretty rigid. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find center, make a circle, and uh, we're going to cut that out in the bandsaw. Cut it into four sections and I'm going to mark out the holes using this as my template and then extending those to make additional holes. Um, and I'm going to actually drill and tap the nylon. Um, hopefully that's going to be enough to hold a screw with a piece of rubber in there to hold a bowl in there. <music> So I decided to use my scroll saw for this because my bandsaw, the teeth, I only have a 3 TPI blade. So we're going to go with the scroll saw. Okay, so now I've got the basic circle, I'm just going to clean up the edges on my sander. Okay, so there it is, my circle is cut. I will end up putting this on the lathe and making sure that it's perfect later on, but for now it's close enough. What I will end up doing now is drilling my holes for the set screws that go into the chuck, and also drilling and tapping holes for the plugs that hold the bowl into the cold jaws. Okay, so I found a blade with uh, six teeth per inch. So I'm actually gonna do this on the bandsaw. Uh, I didn't like the way that the, the uh, nylon was melting and reattaching itself. So hopefully I'll have better luck 
with the bandsaw. So let's get this thing cut now into four segments. Was I drawn into your orbit, or were you drawn into mine? In any case, you've given me a new reason to shine. The circles where Okay, so I forgot to record the last little bit, but basically what I did was I had a waste block like this, and I screwed these to it. And now it would have been better to do this before I cut it all up, but if I have to make another one, that's what I would do. Um, but I screwed these all to it in the sequence that they need to sit. And basically I had to turn out a small section from the center to allow for this little notch on my chuck. Now whether yours has that or not, I don't know. I would imagine it probably does. So just be cautious. You need to notch out that from your jig. Now I'm just gonna use my uh, screws that I have to screw this into place and hopefully it runs true. Spinning recklessly around, growing tighter by the hour till the flash and then the sound and for a moment two are one glowing with the brilliance of a multiplying sun but even stars will one day fall Okay, so there it is mounted on my lathe um, in the truck. Now, obviously the jaws are loose without a bowl in place and I would need rubber pieces in there here which would be compressed to put pressure on the bowl and then when you tighten up the chuck that will make sure the bowl doesn't move and, and it will be tight. But the only issue I have is the clearance for the motor on my particular lathe is zero. There is no clearance out here on my lathe. Now, I think what I'm gonna do is get an extension bar for my spindle. So that will be something that I can get manufactured at a machine shop. So uh, that will be my next step. Just to bring this out, maybe uh, two or three inches would be good enough. There it is. And thanks for watching. I hope you found that somewhat informative. If you do not have a set of cold jaws, there are cheap ways of making your own. This literally cost me $6. I had some stainless steel screws knocking about in the workshop. I just need to get a little bit of rubber in there so that uh, when I put my bowl in, I can tighten down them and uh, hold that bowl in place. Uh, I would bring my tailstock up to finish it until I get that final nub and then remove the tailstock and finish it up. But uh, I'm pretty happy with these. Again, I'm going to have to get a uh, spindle extension just to clear the motor because this particular model, that is an issue with this particular model. So thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe and I hope to see you soon. Take care now. For a time we have